was a cruise. Hmm? The weather nice? Hmm. Okay. Nice people aboard? Well, okay. <laughs> well, you're about as gay as a herring. A kippered herring. Oh, Margie, please. I am not in the mood. Okay, what's happened? Come on, tell me what's wrong. Oh, nothing's wrong. That is really wrong. Well, if you must know, I'm in, I'm in sort of a jam. Ah, and just how sticky is this jam? Oh, Margie, I, I got myself engaged. Oh, no! I knew it. I knew it. The minute I let you out of my sight. I can explain. Please do. Well, it was, it was something like this. I was on the yacht, and she was on the yacht. There we both Never were. Never mind, I'll tell you. The moonbeams were dancing over the water, planting light silvery kisses on each restless wavelet, right? There was moonlight on the water. And naturally, soft, gooey music drifted out from the cabin, blending with the sound of the surging sea and weaving its magic spell. Still right? Something like that. Ha! And then this irresistible mermaid, reeking with exotic perfume, looked into your eyes and went like this. Oh, that's right. How did you know? Dad, how can you be so smart in business and so adolescent with women? Margie, I am not adolescent. Well, you certainly act like it, getting involved in a corny shipboard infatuation. Kid stuff. All right, all right, but don't rub it in. Okay. Boys will be boys, I guess. What's she like? Oh, under the circumstances that you just described in such lurid detail, she... She seemed very attractive. Then why the long face, this stag at bay attitude? Well, now that it's too late, I learn the worst. Already three husbands have walked out on her. There must be a reason. Uh-oh. Now, what are you going to do about it? What can I do? After all, Margie, your father's not a cad. She proposed, and, and I accepted. She proposed to you. You mean she got down on her knees and looked up into your big brown eyes and... Now cut it out, Margie. She wasn't down on her knees. We were dancing at the time. Oh, dancing. Well, I've always warned you about that Boston accent. Accent? What's that got to do with it? Well, the orchestra was playing and you were singing the words Papa Loves Mambo and she thought you meant her. Fine thing. I'm in the worst kind of a jam and my daughter thinks it's funny. I'm sorry, Dad, but maybe it's not as serious as you think. I mean, maybe it was just a shipboard flirtation with her, too. Don't you think I know a flirtation from the real thing? I tell you, she's madly in love with me. She said I fascinated her. I was the kind of a man that she'd always dreamed about. Oh, brother. I mean, uh, she sounds very intelligent. Uh, when am I going to meet her? Oh, I meant to tell you she's going to call on you this afternoon. Good. After I look her over, maybe I'll think of some way to get you out of this horrible fate. Now, Marge, you stay out of this, and I mean it. Things are bad enough already. All right, Dad. But may I make one simple suggestion? Why can't you come right out with it and tell her it was a mistake? What do you want me to do, break the poor woman's heart? Wait, I've got it. You can make yourself so unattractive, she won't want to marry you. Make myself unattractive? Margie, I am hardly that good an actor. Hey, have a look at my new gun. Boy, I'll have no trouble getting the limit with this beauty. Yeah. Hey, all right, what's the matter? Huh? Oh, oh, Mr. Honeywell. Hey, you look worried, boy. Anything wrong? Oh, no, no, I, I was just thinking. I was trying to figure out a graceful way to pull out of a certain deal, that's all. That's what I like about you. The old noggin working for the firm all the time, huh? I tell you what, when I get back, I'll bring some birds over to your place. We'll have Margie cook them up for us like old times, okay? Moonlight, music. Oh, I must have been out of my mind. Who's out of their mind? What are you mumbling about? Oh, oh, I, I, was, I was just thinking out loud uh, uh, about the deal. Well, I'm off. Oh, that Wagner woman called, said she'd drop in and sign the contract. Oh, oh yes, yes, the Wagner woman. Uh, uh, what's she like, anyway? Well, I only talked to her over the phone, but there's no problem. All you have to do is hand her a pen and show her where to sign. Bye. Hello? Oh, hello, Claire. Uh, I'm fine, thanks. 
I'm afraid I won't be able to call on your daughter today, Vern. I'm uh, tied up with my attorney. Sorry. And I was so anxious to meet her, but that can come later. Yes, Vern. You'll be hearing from me. Goodbye. Oh, how do I get into these things? What is there about me? Uh, nope, she'll never let me go. I'm going to the club for steam bath. And, oh, uh, if the Wagner woman, you know of Wagner Enterprises, tries to reach me, I'll be home later. Yes, Mr. Albright. <laughs> This is nothing to laugh at, Mrs. Odette. I'm sorry, Margie, but your father should have known. It's elementary. What's elementary? No unattached male has a chance on one of those cruise ships. <laughs> that is, unless he stays seasick all the time. I only wish Dad had. For all we know, this woman who trapped him may be a female bluebeard. Three husbands have walked out on her already. Or maybe they were carried out. Ah, youth. Mad youth. I guess your father and I will never grow old. I just wish he'd grow up. I'm going through with it, says he. I can't break her heart. Who is she? I don't know. I don't even know her name. But it isn't going to be all bright if I can help it. Margie, you're not going to interfere. Are we? Any ideas? Well, we could always... No, that's too complicated. Well, we've got to come up with something quick. She's calling on me this afternoon. Wants to check on what kind of a family she's marrying into. Hey, wait. I think I've got it. Is it something real crazy? Full of kinks? It's right up your alley. I'm very sorry, Mrs. Wagner, but they're both out. Oh, dear. I was hoping I could conclude this business today. Well, if you like, you can get Mr. Albright at his home later this afternoon. Good. If you'll give me its address, I'll drop by and settle the details. There you are. Thank you. That must be Mrs. Bluebeard now. Remember your cue, Mrs. Odette. Bluebird. I hope this works. If it doesn't, she's crazier than we are. <laughs> How do you do? I'm Vera Wagner. I'm I... Margie Albright. Won't you come in and we'll have a nice long talk? <laughs> well, I... I mean, is your father in? No, not yet. But in the meantime, you can sort of get to know the rest of us Albrights. I do hope you like us. <laughs> Now, you just sit right down and make yourself at home. Oh, what a pretty bluebird. just trying to catch a swallow. Oh, Granny, I told you the swallows have gone back. They have? Where? To Capistrano. Oh, pin feathers. They'll do it every time. <laughs> That's Dad's mother, Granny Albright. You'll love her. I will. Don't let Dad know I told you, but I've got a secret. I think Granny's a little eccentric. No. Oh, yes. In fact, the whole family is a little, you know, all except me. You mean your father, too? <laughs> oh, Dad's a million laughs. Sometimes he thinks he's a dodo. Isn't that silly? Very. Because we know the dodo bird is extinct. I don't understand it. How can a man like that be so successful in business? 
Successful? Just between us, the company's almost on the rocks because of him. <gasps> Look out! That parrot bites. Won't you stay for dinner? We're having turkey. No, no, thank you. Look at that beautiful flamingo. Granny, that's a pelican. Flamingo. I tell you, it's a pelican. Flamingo. Pelican. Flamingo. Pelican. Flamingo. Pelican. I refuse to argue. I'll go fix the dinner. I guess I know a flamingo when I see one. Poor Granny. Can't even tell a flamingo from a pelican. Well, I, I really must be going. It's been most enlightening. Stop it! Stop that turkey! Stop it! Stop that turkey! I'll help! Here! Shoot! Shoot! Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! Here! Oh! 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 I really put a edge on you. You can shave a porcupine now. Oh, thanks, Charlie. There's nothing as annoying as a dull carving knife. Yes, sir. <laughs> I got him! Oh, hold him now. I'll chop his head off. Wait! <laughs> You're Mr. Dodo. A Dodo? My name is Vernon Albright. That's what I mean. Dad, we did it! We did it! We broke your engagement. She thinks you're crazy. Who thinks I'm crazy? Your new girlfriend, your fiance, Vera Wagner. Vera Wagner? Vera Wagner? That was Vera Wagner? Oh, no! What's wrong, Mr. Albright? Oh, that wasn't my girlfriend. That was Mrs. Wagner, Mr. Honeywell's new client. <laughs> Looks like my little bird caper really laid an egg. You were only trying to help. Uh, some help. Dad's engagement is still on and the Wagner deal is off. Well, I'm gonna give it one more try. Mrs. Wagner, please. Who? Oh, oh, this is Mr. Schweinhund's secretary calling. Schweinhund, Schweinhund and Messerschmidt. Danke schön. Mrs. Wagner, this is Margie Albright again. If you'll just give me five minutes, I can explain the whole thing. Oh, please, you've got to listen. Now what? I'm going to Mrs. Wagner's office. They'll never let you in. You want to bet? I never bet against you. <laughs> I'm from the Morning Sun. I'm here to interview Mrs. Wagner. A newspaper reporter to see you, Mrs. Wagner. Send him in, please. All right. Go right in. What can I do for you, Mr. You! Now, wait, please. Miss Hennessy. Let me explain. Hennessy, take her out and keep her out. Hennessy, now, is it? Surely you wouldn't be little Bridget Hennessy's cousin from Mott Avenue. No, darling, I'm from the Mulberry Street Hennessy's. Are you now? You wouldn't be knowing Patrick O'Flaherty, him that's a fine broth of a lad. No, but there's Michael O'Flaherty. His blonde is so thick you could cut it with a butter knife. Sit down, darling. Tell me all about yourself. That I will, that I will. You'll be excuse me for a moment. I left my notebook inside. You're just about as Irish as chop suey. Nice try, wasn't it? Come on, beat it. Oh, but Mrs. Wagner, if you'll listen for just a minute. What? Oh, yes, I know we must have looked like a bunch of idiots. But please, I can explain that, too. My daughter got you mixed up with Mrs. Bluebeard. No, not Bluebeard, Beard. You know, Whiskers. Oh, <laughs> I mean, she got you mixed up with a woman who had three husbands. 
No, not all at the same time. For the last time, Mr. Albright, I want nothing further to do with you, your family, Mr. Honeywell, or anyone connected with you. Goodbye. Come in, please, Hennessy. Hennessy, if that lunatic calls again, I'm not in, understand? Yes, ma'am. Sure are a persistent lot, aren't they? There ought to be a law against people like that running around loose. That crazy girl, particularly. Don't worry, she won't bother you again. Excuse me, lady, could I have a drink of water? Help yourself. What are you doing? Just a little insurance against another interruption. You! Now, you just sit down and relax while I explain. You get out of here this instant or I'll call the police. Mrs. Wagner, I'm sorry to have to do this, but you're going to hear me out this time or else. Oh, I don't want to hurt his feelings, Mr. Burton, but the whole thing's a mistake. Oh, Vern's an awfully nice chap, but he's just not for me. You leave it to me, Mrs. Winthrop. I'll handle Mr. Albright so gently that he'll hardly realize he's being jilted. Thank you. I'd feel so guilty rushing off to Europe and leaving him up in the air. Well, goodbye, and, and thanks again. Bon voyage. Hello, Mr. Albright. Ralph Burton, Claire Winthrop's attorney. Attorney? <laughs> Well, what do you want to speak to me about? You can't discuss it over the telephone. Oh, yes, yes, I'll be here. Okay, I'll be expecting you. Come in. Hi, Mr. Albright. I buzzed Margie this morning. She told me you were in a jam. I'd have been here sooner, but today's my day at the unemployment office, and there were 30 guys in the line ahead of me. Oh, there'll be 31 by the time Mr. Honeywell gets back and finds out what happened. Oh, gosh, I didn't realize it was as bad as all that. Oh, it's not just losing my job. It's, it's that woman who's so madly in love with me. Her, her attorney's on the way over here now. Oh, he'll drag me through the courts if I don't marry her. Oh, Freddy, Freddy, what am I going to do? How about the Foreign Legion? Oh, don't be funny. Oh, Freddy, this is, this is driving me batty. Batty, batty, that's it, Freddy. Huh? Uh, well, it worked on Mrs. Wagner, didn't it? We'll get Mrs. Odette's to help and, and Charlie the Elevator Boy. Come on. <laughs> Get on your pigtails, Granny. We're gonna be real crazy again. <laughs> You were sweet to hear me out, Mrs. Wagner. Well, that paintbrush didn't give me much choice. I'm sorry about that, but I just had to prove to you that Dad wasn't crazy. Come on in. Dad, are you home? Dad? I'm sure you'll be here soon. And then you'll see for yourself what a normal American family we are. I'll make some coffee while we're waiting. I'll help you. We gotta hurry. He'll be here any minute now. Now, you know what to do, Roger. Oh, this is probably it. Mr. Albright? That's my name. Ask me again and I'll tell you the same. <laughs> I, uh, uh, that is, I, I, I'm Mr. Burton. You know something? You look like him. Yes, sir, remarkable resemblance. But you don't understand. I am Mr. Burton. Well, what a coincidence. Small world, what? <laughs> Come on in and meet the family. <laughs> now sit down and make yourself right at home. Here we go gathering nuts and may, nuts and may, nuts and may. Here we go gathering nuts and may, la 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 la. Here we go gathering nuts and may, nuts and may, nuts and may. Here we go gathering nuts and may. Oh, that's dead! Now once again. No, no, no. First it was birds, now it's nuts. 
to tell you she never learned english this is a normal american family it's a gag it, it must be i'm sure dad can explain uh, mr burton i want you to meet my son freddie shake hands with our guest uh, how do you do <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes sir when people first meet my son they instinctively dislike him but when they get to know him they positively hate him <laughs> Uh, Mr. Albright, my mission here is a very delicate one. Perhaps we, we should discuss this in private. Oh, nonsense. I have no secrets from my little flock. <laughs> Mr. Albright! <coughs> Mr. Albright! <coughs> Mr. Albright! Uh, uh, what is it, Charlie? It's Junior here. He's getting more stubborn all the time. I bought him a chocolate sundae with nuts on it, just like you said, but he refused to take a walk in the park. <coughs> uh, what's that, Junior? <coughs> <coughs> what did he say, Granny? He says Charlie only bought him a lemon phosphate. He ate the Sunday himself. Tattletale. Uh, Freddy, take Junior to his room. It's time for his nap. And I'll settle with you later. <coughs> this is all very confusing, Mr. Albright. I, I think I'd better go. No, wait! Dad, what are you trying to do? What's the matter with everyone? Margie, my merry little magpie. Meet Mr. Burton. You'll have to excuse my father. He's always clowning. Clowning? I'm not clowning. Dad, you're ruining everything. You keep out of this. That's Claire's lawyer. I'm making him think I'm crazy like you did. But, Dad... Awfully sweet little girl, but uh, <laughs> not too bright, you understand? Dad, listen. Ira V. Agner way is in the ironing day, Umay. Oh, she is? <laughs> Ira V. Agnaway? Yes. And I've seen quite enough. <laughs> Please, Mrs. Wagner. Dad was only trying to break his engagement. Hey, everybody. All right, I never saw so many ducks in my life. And with my new gun, I just couldn't miss. Did you get the limit? I was just one duck shy. Oh, there were birds everywhere. I'd have been up there yet, only I run out of ammunition. There were birds to the north, birds to the south, birds... He ran out of ammunition. Sorry, I didn't know it was loaded. This is a madhouse! Your engagement to my client, Mrs. Winthrop, is definitely broken. And I hope I never see any of you again. Why... Oh. Who's that lunatic? What's this about an engagement? All right. What have you been up to? Don't tell me you bungled the Wagner deal. Well, there, there has been a slight slip-up, Mr. Honeywell. All right, this is the absolute end. I warned you. But it wasn't Dad's fault. It wasn't anybody's fault, Mr. Honeywell. Don't hand me that. I know these crazy Albrights. Who are you, anyway? I'm Vera Wagner. Mrs. Wagner? Oh, excuse me. Uh, this is a pleasure. Whatever this knothead has done, I'll make it right. I'll handle the thing personally. But I wouldn't think of doing business with... with anybody but Mr. Albright. Such imagination he has. Why, he almost had me convinced he was crazy. Look! A flamingo. <laughs> You're mistaken, Mrs. Wagner. That's a pelican. Where? Where? <laughs> You're both wrong. It's an ostrich. A flying ostrich. Flying ostrich? Hey, have you all lost your buttons? <laughs> you see, Dad? Everything turned out fine. You broke your engagement and put over the Wagner deal. Yes, but we sure did it the hard way. Marge, you've got to promise no more of these crazy ideas. I promise. <gasps> oh, look, a flamingo! Where? Where? <laughs> well, that's my little Margie. <laughs> 